Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be checking out a series of different creations that are all pretty cool. And we're starting off with this seaplane. But before we start the video and check that out, if you do end up liking this video, I would really appreciate it if you well liked the video or even subscribed. It would really help me out a ton. Anyways, on with the video. Okay, so let's hop on this thing. It's a little bit sideways, but I'm pretty sure we can fix that with a little bit of rudder. And we should be able to just hop on in here. Cool. Let's turn on our two engines. But oh, no! Okay, that wasn't a very graceful takeoff. I think we're missing some propellers and we've damaged our float. But I mean, we're up in the air now, so that's good. So let's see this thing's features. So this thing looks like a very, very cheap and lightweight water plane. It literally looks like you got a little pod with two seats in it, strapped two wings, two floaters, and a tail onto it and then connected those all with pipes. It's just like the lightest thing you could get. Let's see how's it like in first person. It's not bad actually, there's a lot of visibility. It might actually be better than a lot of the planes on there in the workshop. Let's see if we can do a landing on land. It's not gonna go well. I mean, at least we're kind of lined up right now. And turn off our throttle. Because of how Stormworks physics is like, you'll literally just drop very quickly once you turn off your throttle. And that was an okay landing. We did destroy our front floaters. Oh, look at that! The plane's actually bouncing and just jumping up and down. Can we actually take off with this again? Oh, no! Oh, okay. We definitely can't take off like this. Okay, well, let's go on to the next creation. Sticking with the theme of aircraft and being very small, we have here a VTOL that is very, very skinny. I think the only reason it's this wide and not smaller is because the seats wouldn't even fit. Okay, let's see how this controls. Actually, this is very stable. Like, look at this. I'm going to press all my buttons and I'm not even flipping at all. The only reason my thing's turning is because I'm strafing, which turns the body a little bit. This is an amazing VTOL. I might actually like use it sometime. But this is a weaponized creation, so it does have two guns and some missiles. Oh, and some flares at the back. So let's uh, try out the weapons right now. Okay, so it looks like the default weapons are the auto cannons. That's really cool. Wait, I can't stop firing. I let go of the button and it, is it just gonna keep firing? Oh, it overheated, so that's fine now. I think I know what the problem is. I destroyed my seat, so it's no longer receiving input. So it's just gonna keep on firing until it runs out of ammo. I can't even control this thing anymore. The only thing I can do now is just turn it off. That's not even gonna do anything, is it? Never mind, it did do something. Now we're falling out of the sky. And now I'm on fire. Okay, take two here. That's not a very good design if your auto cannons will literally destroy your seat. Okay, so to fix that, I just turned off vehicle damage so we won't get destroyed by our own guns. Anyways, let's try firing. So that looks pretty good. I have no idea how those bullets would hit our seat. Oh, never mind. I just saw some dust. Okay. So apparently we can change the aim. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is camera mode. Okay. And this is just normal WASD. So if I did this, say, I can just look where I want to shoot and press the shoot button. That's actually really good. And then we can change weapon types. So we have this um, auto cannon, and now we have missiles. So it's going to be cool to see what these are all about let's fire one okay actually they're not even making big explosions and i have infinite ammo on right now just so i don't run out of rockets but look at this the explosions are so small they're just gray explosions they don't even have any red in them they're just like little smoke particle effects anyways the last thing we can do with this thing is to launch the chaff uh where'd it go it just disappeared Oh wait, no, I think I could see that. Yeah, because chaff isn't really a flare, it's just to disrupt the radar, I think. Flares are to disrupt the thermal. Hey, I have an idea, I want to do something here. We're going to turn on vehicle damage and not destroy ourselves while taking off. But we are going to try to shoot down a copy of ourselves. 
That's a little bit too close, but whatever. Here we go. Let's turn on our camera control. Position ourselves right there. And you know what? Let's use rockets just for fun. Here we go. It's missing. Let's aim a little bit higher then. Look at that. One shot and it's already out of the sky. That's amazing. Let's just finish it off for fun. Just to make sure it's completely not working. And let's just throw in a little bit of auto cannon there too. Nice. That is a very destroyed craft there. So let's move on to the next creation. And for this creation, a better location is probably this place. Because we're actually checking out a really cool truck. The reason I'm checking out this thing is because just look at it. There's so much detail. Like, I love the use of all of these blocks as different things. Whoever made this creation is just one very, very talented builder. Alright, here we go. I managed to turn it on. This thing is much faster than I expected. Also, now that I got it out of the hangar, this tanker portion, or at least where you put the fluids in, is a lot smaller than I thought. It looks like it actually actually might be smaller than the cabin of the truck. Oh no, we're about to crash. That was a very violent crash. All right, let's try that again. But before we start driving, I want to check, does this thing spawn with fluid inside? Oh, actually, it looks like it does. That's really cool. So you could totally use this for like transporting fuel and crude oil in career mode and like make a profit selling that stuff. Okay, it obviously doesn't deal with crashes well, but let's see how it can deal with off-roading and some hills. Oh no, but not trees. I don't think any car can deal with a tree at full speed that well. This actually isn't bad. Never mind, it's doing pretty bad. It's not working anymore for some reason. Let's restart the engine. Maybe that's the problem. Ah, there we go. After a bit of messing around th with the gears, I think it's working now. Oh no! We just destroyed our engine, didn't we? Let's just put this out with our fire extinguisher. I'm surprised this thing even has a fire extinguisher on board. Are we even able to put it out? Because it looks like a lot of the fire is inside the vehicle. So if we can't reach that, no, never mind, we can definitely reach it. I mean, it's not going to work anymore or anything, but at least we're not going to burn anything down with this. How is it still rolling though? This looks like a relatively flat hill. Never mind, it's slightly slanted backwards, that's why. I bet when this goes up to flat ground, it's just going to stop moving. But for some reason, I can still hear the engine, like, working hard there. Alright, now we have probably the final creation, and that is this little SAR boat. Now, what are we going to be doing with it? I think you can already tell. We're going to be using this boat to rescue itself from sinking. But those drowning and burning people can wait. We're going to be checking out this boat first. So basically, here we have a little deployable boat, which you can use for reconnaissance and stuff. If we continue on here, we have a pretty large cabin with a couple of seats and also a lower deck. It says keep closed because um, sometimes you'll have water trickling in here. And I'm pretty sure there's not really a way to get water out of that. So you do have to keep it closed. So here we have a bathroom. We have a tank room. Okay, now we have the engine room. This is a mess of cables and wires. Up here looks like a nice little living area. And that's pretty much it. And now I guess it's time to save those people. But how are you meant to start this thing up? I don't see any buttons here. I honestly don't see any buttons that could start the engine you know what i bet you there's something back here that i missed this is really not a good time to be having issues with the boat i feel like swimming over there would be faster than trying to start this thing up why is this called an emergency exit it literally doesn't lead you to anywhere what if i close the hatch on me okay stormix just doesn't let the hatch close oh wait but now i'm stuck for the rest of eternity honestly i'm stuck Oh wait, I just remembered you can open hatches. Maybe the start off button is somewhere in the engine room? Sometimes it's like that, but normally it's only like that on big ships, you know? Okay, so after reading the Steam Workshop page, turns out you have to press these buttons. Like the tiny buttons that are hidden. How are you meant to find them, but whatever. Okay, now we have a new problem. The engines are stalling and not turning on. Okay, you know what? I'm done with this. We're just gonna swim over there, okay? We're gonna grab a fire extinguisher and that's it. That's all we're gonna bring. Okay, we're finally here, and here we have one civilian. You've already gotten yourself away from the fire, so that's good. Let's jump on here. Hopefully not burnt to death, and try to take out these fires. 
Oh, the angle's a little steep here, but it looks like we can just spray this down. Give it a second. This fire is really big. Okay, it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller, and it's almost out. It is out. Nice. Now, here's the second fire. I think this is the biggest fire out of all three. Wait, is that a face down there? Do you guys see a face? I think that's a face. Okay, well, I have to remember to save that guy then. How long is it gonna take to put out this fire? It's actually taking, like, forever. There we go, now it's out. And the last fire right here. And it's almost out, just a little bit more. Oh no, my fire extinguishers is almost out too, but it looks like there's no more fires, so it doesn't matter. Let's just throw this fire extinguisher away. And you three are coming with me. Oh, it looks like she's having a little bit of trouble. Wait, look at this, I'm gonna tell her to follow me, and she can't even get out of the door. I love how bad the AI is, they barely can find their way to you. Alright, you're following me, I don't know where we're going actually you know i'm just gonna leave you here because i don't really have a destination for you so just stop following me okay thank you bye oh and i almost forgot this creation was amazing right especially at destroying other things and a certain creation right here is a little bit frustrating and annoying to start yeah, I think I'm gonna destroy this boat. You made me spend way too long trying to start you. It's time for you to explode. Here we go. Let's turn on camera mode. And what should we use? Let's use rockets first, because that's the least likely to destroy us. Okay, vehicle damage is on, so we should be able to destroy it. And fire! Let's just spam the trigger and aim a little bit higher just in case we miss or go under. There we go, we're doing a lot of damage actually. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's more like it. Come on, destroy that thing. Nice, we're getting some solid hits here. We've basically already destroyed half the creation. Alright, now it's time for the the auto cannon. Chances are we destroy ourselves, but let's just do it anyways. All right, let's aim onto this thing and fire. There we go. This is doing not as much damage as I would like, actually. I feel like the rockets are harder to aim, but probably do more damage. There we go. Nice. I think we've completely destroyed the ship. I don't think it's going to be operational anymore. Nice. That was pretty good. Anyways, I'm going to end this video here. If you guys enjoyed it be sure to leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys later bye